Bless you. Thank you for coming to the house of the Lord. You know what's interesting about being a pastor is is uh, if you get up in front before you know to start the service, and then you go over there and you face the stage. When you come up on the stage, it looks different. Usually, Molly, I think some more people come in. So uh, I'm just trusting God that they will. I was uh, praying this week for everyone that attends here that God would touch your heart and that you would have a desire to be in the house of the Lord. So I'm thankful for God answering our prayers. Uh, Molly has an announcement to make, and then Molly, I may have something else to say, but if you want to come and make your announcement, okay. Scott and Karina, if you all want to uh, join, join her up here. So I'm not going to read everything on there, but it is Pastor Appreciation Month, so we want to give that a boost again this morning. Um, on here are some ways you can bless um, Brother Les and Sister Glenna this month. You can extend it beyond the month if you feel so inclined, but I did want to make mention of the very first thing on there. Next Sunday at 5 o'clock, we're going to have a little hot dog dinner, um, so if you would like to participate. Next Sunday at 6 o'clock. That's only because the Spanish church has their service from uh, 2 to 5. And uh, I told them we'd be set up to 5, so my apologies. You can come at 5 to help set up. There you go. <laughs> <Come> <laughs> <Okay. five. laughs> um, but if you want to come and uh, help with, uh, with donations of food, uh, there will be a little pink paper on the bulletin board out there. If you want to sign up for what you would like to do. Stand, please. I thank the Lord for His goodness and His kindness and His mercy to us. And I believe that God is a healer. Do you believe that? Yes. I have uh, some dear friends of mine, and, and uh, they have someone in their family who's in the hospital, been in the hospital for almost two weeks now. And um, they need a miracle. Without a miracle, he will not survive. So, I was praying right in here, as a matter of fact, the other day. And I was saying, God, if you will, if you want it, he can be made clean. I believe that with all my heart. So, Lord, if that's what you want, if that's what you desire, then, then he can be made whole. I believe God is still a healer. Do you believe that? Amen. He is still a healer. And so, I'm trusting God, but I, I also know that God knows how he can best be glorified. You may remember from the scripture that Lazarus was very sick, and he even died, and they didn't understand, you know, they were hoping he would get well. And of course, now he was brought back to life, and, and hey, Lord, if you want to do that, that'd be fine too. Uh, but I believe God is, God is a healer. So, um, do you know anyone that needs healing? Anybody come to your mind? You raise your hand. Anybody that needs healing? I sure know some people. So, I'd like to begin, if I could, this morning, just praying and Reminding us, we don't have to remind the Lord, that's one of his names, Jehovah Rapha, the Lord, our healer. We don't have to remind him, but sometimes we need to be reminded. So i just like to remind him, would you bow your heads, dear Jesus, I thank you. Thank you that you love us so much. I thank you that you were willing to bear stripes on your back.
action. Psalm 27 and 8 says, You have said, Seek my face. My heart says to you, Your face, Lord, I will seek. And Psalm 29 and 2 says, Ascribe to the Lord the glory due to his name. Worship the Lord in the splendor of holiness. In this life, I've never thought about it like this. I had to stop and read it several times when I was reading it. It says, In this life, we have an ability to choose to worship which we will never have again. It says, when God brings final restoration to all things and we live in a perfect communion with him, we will see him and know him fully. In heaven, worship will not be a choice. It will be a natural response of all creation to the full revelation of God. So when we worship him now, it is truly a choice that we have. And I'm thankful for that privilege and desire to worship him Every, not just every Sunday, but every day we get up. The choice we have to worship Him, not just because He is worthy, because He is worthy, but because He has done wonderful things for us. God has done great things. When we choose to worship God here on earth, we are declaring to the Father and all of creation that He is King of kings and Lord of lords, that He is our true ambition. To worship God here is to crown Him as Lord of your life. Come underneath His leadership and make Him first priority. What we do with our limited time here on earth has the power to affect the heart of God for all eternity. And living a lifestyle of worship instead of choosing the things of the world has the power to guide others into relationship with the Father, thereby changing the nature of their eternities forever. Gathering together to worship with fellow believers is no small or fleeting task if we take the time to ask God what it does to his heart. Every time we gather together to worship, we can move the heart of our Father. We have the ability here on earth to delight our Creator. He sent Jesus to die, that we might walk in communion with him. Our worship and pursuit of relationship with God is the reward for the unmerited suffering of our Savior. Every word we sing from our heart matters. Every person we love is music to the ears of our Father. Every act of worship has eternal significance. And that's why we've come this morning. We've come to worship the Lord. Let's not take it lightly. Let's worship the Lord this morning for the next little bit.
hope that he is wonderful. Yes, and I'm yes. thankful for the privilege that he has given us to enter into his presence anytime, anywhere we want to. Amen. Amen.
feel older? ¿Te sientes más? Every day. <laughs> Every day. I like the shoes. Me gustan los zapatos. You must have gone to the same store as Melanie. Amor, fuiste a la misma tienda que Melanie. She was wearing the same ones a moment ago. That's Ella awesome. estaba usando los mismos. Uh, Gay, come and help me just a minute. You can come up here with your mother. Kaylee. Come up here with mom. Dad, come on up here in just a minute. This is the way, family. Don't you love them? Esa es la familia, güey. ¿No los aman? Now, the other, the other uh, four don't get as much attention now. Will has come along. Nosotros cuatro ya no tienen atención, solo Will. He tries to get all, he tries to get all the attention. Él trata de agarrar toda la atención. But uh, this month is actually uh, appreciation for ministers. Este mes es apri um, agradecimiento de ministerios. And I didn't want this month to go by. Y no quería que pasara este mes. Without honoring our youth pastors, Terry and Jenny Way. Sin honrando nuestros pastores de jóvenes, Jerry and Jenny, Terry Way. Jenny and Terry Way. Es lo mismo en español. It's the same in Spanish. How about another cheer for this wonderful family? Un aplauso para esta grande familia. They, they, uh, they all work hard. Todos trabajan fuerte. They work together. Trabajan juntos. They sacrifice for us. Y sacrifican por nosotros. And we love you and appreciate you. Y los amamos y te apreciamos. God bless you. We sure do. Dios los bendiga. And we would like to pray, pray a blessing uh, on your family. Y queremos orar por ustedes. Uh, Mary Jo, would you be so kind? Uh, Molly, you can come up here and get your mother a microphone. Give you some exercise there. Do you have one to match your mask, the glitter? Red one to match your outfit. Mary Jo, would you just pray a blessing on this wonderful family as we honor them today? You may be seated away, family. Thank you very much. God bless you. Terry, see me after service. I'd like to buy your family lunch, okay? I won't be going to lunch because we have a baptism here this afternoon. And uh, again, so I'm thankful for that. So at 1 o'clock, we have some more people coming. Uh, 
So I thank the Lord for that. Estás listo? Están listos? Are you ready? Están listos? Are you ready? Uh, por la palabra de Dios. For the word of God. Están listos? Are you ready? Yes. Good. Yes. So we're going to begin with. Vamos a empezar. Fill in the blank. Con el rellenando un espacio en el blanco. We're going to fill in the blank. Vamos a rellenar el espacio. Okay, help me out, Tony. Fill in the blank. Next slide. God is not the author of. Dios no es el autor de. What is it? Que es? God is not the author of confusion. Dios no es el autor de la confusión. Have you ever heard that before? ¿Han escuchado eso antes? Is it in the Bible? Es dice en la Biblia. How many think it's in the Bible? Let me see your hand. ¿Cuántos crees que está en la Biblia? It's not a trick question. Quiero mirar sus manos. Not a trick question. I know what you're thinking. He's going to trick me. No, no es una pregunta con algo. It is in the Bible. It's 1 Corinthians 14:33. I don't have that scripture, but I'm going to talk about it for just a minute. Si está en la Biblia, está en Corintios, pero no lo tengo ahorita. Voy a hablar de eso. 1 Corinthians 14:33 refers specifically to disorder in the church. Primera de Corintios 14:33 se refiere específicamente al desorden de la iglesia. We all know the Bible says. Todos sabemos que la iglesia de la Biblia dice. That God is not the author of confusion. Que Dios no es el autor de confusión. Amen. Amen. But He has used it for His purposes. Pero lo ha usado para sus propósitos. In fact, in the Old Testament. En el Antiguo Testamento. We find examples of God using confusion as a weapon against the enemies of Israel. Encontramos ejemplos de Dios usando la confusión como una arma contra los enemigos de Israel. And you may remember that when the people of Earth decided if they worked together, they could do anything. Y tal vez recuerden que cuando la gente de la Tierra decidió que si trabajaban juntos podían hacer cualquier cosa. They even thought they could build a tower reaching to God. Incluso pensaron que podían construir una torre que llegara a Dios. If you remember that story, say Amen. ¿Se acuerdan? That's in Genesis. Está en Genesis. What did God do? ¿Qué es lo que Dios hizo? God gave them different languages. Why? Dios les dio diferentes idiomas. ¿Por qué? To confuse them. Para confundirlos. Chip Ingram wrote an excellent book. Chip Ingram eh, escribió en su libro. It's called Finding God. Se llama Buscando a Dios. When you need him the most. Cuando más lo necesitas. Here's what Chip says. Esto es lo que dice Chip. God understands that confusing times come in our lives. Dios entiende que vienen tiempos confusos en nuestras vidas. He's certainly not surprised when they arise. Él no está sorprendido cuando llegan. During times of confusion, the Lord wants us to experience the leading of the Holy Spirit that will bring us to clarity. Durante los tiempos de confusión, Dios quiere que experimentemos la dirección del Espíritu Santo que nos lleva a claridad. Now listen carefully. Escucha. Carefully. Cuidadosamente. Gracias. <laughs> Often times of confusion, a menudo los momentos de confusión, doubt, duda, unrest, inquietud, vagueness, vaguedad, and disorder, y desorden, are actually God's signal to us son en realidad señales de Dios para that He wants to take us to a new level in our relationship with Him and with others. De que él nos quiere llevar a un nuevo nivel en nuestra relación con él y con los demás. So this morning I want to talk about. Y esta mañana quiero hablar. Breaking through the confusion. De rompiendo de la, confus de la confusión. Breaking through the confusion. Rompiendo la confusión. Breaking through the confusion. Rompiendo la confusión. You know, if you see something in the scripture multiple times. Cuando miras algo en la escritura muchas veces. God is trying to emphasize it. Dios te está tratando de decir algo. So if you hear the preacher say something multiple times. Si escuchas al predicador decir algo muchas veces. trying to emphasize it. Él quiere que lo escuche. Breaking through the confusion. Rompiendo la confusión. Have you ever been confused? ¿Alguna vez has sentido, te has sentido confundido? Anybody ever been confused? ¿Alguien aquí has sido confundido? Some of you confused right now. Algunos de ustedes confundidos ahorita. Oh, hallelujah. Jenny was confused a moment ago. Jenny estaba confundida hace unos momentos. She thought, oh no. Dijo, oh no. What does he want now? Ahora, ¿qué quiere? I remember one time I was very confused. Yo me acuerdo una vez que yo estaba confundido. I don't remember what year it was. No me acuerdo cuál año fue. But Bishop Russell asked me to come and preach here. Pero el obispo Russell me dijo que predicara aquí. On, on a Sunday morning. En un domingo. I was so excited. Yo estaba tan feliz. I had been to the church before. Yo ya había ido a esa iglesia. He actually invited me to come see it right after it was purchased. Me invitó a verla después de que la compraron. But I always came uh, through Leakesville. Pero siempre me venía por Leakesville. And uh, but, but I knew it was on 87. Pero yo sabía que estaba en la 87. And I've been up and down 220 many times. Y yo ya viajaba en 220 muchas veces. Go to the mountains, look at the leaves. Miraba las montañas y las hojas. Y muchas veces. <coughs> and a lot of times. I would see a sign. Yo miraba una seña. It said Highway 87. Que decía 
Carretera 87. Do you, do you know where I was? ¿Sabes dónde estaba? Okay. And so I remembered. Y yo me acuerdo. There's a sign for Highway 87. Que había un letrero que dice uh, Carretera 87. And, and the church is on Highway 87. Y la, y la iglesia está en el 87. So I'm just going to get up early. So me voy a levantar temprano. Take my time. Tomar mi tiempo. Cruise down Highway 220. Viajar por esa carretera. And I'll see Highway 87. Y yo miré oh, calle 88. So then all I should have to do. Y solo lo que tendré que hacer. Is take a right. Es darle a la derecha. A la derecha. To the right. That's what I did. Es lo que hice. A la derecha. To the right. And guess how, which highway I was on. ¿Y qué crees cuál carretera estaba? Do you want to know? Help me out. ¿Alguien sabe? Highway 87. Calle 87. Aleluya. Aleluya. The church is on Highway 87. La iglesia estaba en el 87. I'm on Highway 87. Yo estoy en la 87. Who is confused? ¿Quién está confundido? I went down Highway 87. Yo seguí en el, la carretera. No iglesia. No church. I went down Highway 87 more. Y a qué más en esa carretera? No iglesia. No church. Past the hospital. Pasé el hospital. Past Walmart. Pasé Walmart. No iglesia. No church. I got to Lowe's. Llegué a Lowe's. No iglesia. No church. So I turned around. Así que me di la vuelta. And I, I used to be in the technology business. Yo estaba en la industria de tecnología. And those of you who, do, who use technology, y ustedes que usan la tecnología, you all know what you do when it doesn't work. Solo, ustedes saben lo que hacen cuando no sirve. You try it again. Lo intentan otra vez. So I went all the way back to 220. Y otra vez regresé hasta 220. No iglesia. No church. ¿Dónde está la iglesia? Where is the church? We didn't have GPS back then. No teníamos el GPS antes. We had cell phones that barely worked. Teníamos celulares que apenas sirvían. So I went back and forth. Así que yo fui adelante y para atrás. I left at 30. Me fui a las ocho y media. So I was supposed to be at the church about 9.30. Tenía que llegar a la iglesia como a las nueve y media. I would be in, I would be in time for Sunday school. Para empezar en la escuela dominicana. Plenty of time. Much, mucho tiempo. I went back and forth. Para arriba y para abajo. Back and forth. Para arriba y para abajo. I was embarrassed to call the pastor. Te, tenía vergüenza de llamarle al pastor. Do you know what I did? Pero sabes lo que hice? I called the pastor. Yo le llamé al pastor. He didn't have a cell phone. No tenía celular. And the house phone didn't answer. Y el celular de casa no, no respondía. I think he was here. Creo que él estaba aquí. So I looked at the address. Así que miré la dirección. And I could make no sense out of the address. Y no sabía lo que estaba mirando. I was looking for 13811. Yo estaba mirando 1311. 13 anything. 13 algo. Going back and forth and back and forth. Regresando y regresando. Finalmente. And finally. I called a friend of mine. Le llamé a un amigo. Some of you know Eddie Terry. Algunos saben Eddie Terry. And his wife was raised in this area. Y su esposa estaba... Ella nació en esta you know, you know her, his wife Laura. Su esposa Laura. So I told Eddie, I said, Eddie, I'm glad you answered the phone. Y yo le dije, Eddie, estoy agradecido que levantaste I can't celular. find the church. No puedo encontrar la I'm iglesia. confused. Estoy confundido. And he said, well, let me let you talk to Laura. Y déjame, deja que hables con Laura. Then I was even more confused. Y ahora estaba más confundido. I said, can you tell me how to get to the church? Me puedes ayudar cómo llegar a la iglesia? She said, where are you? Me dice, ¿dónde estás? If I do that, si yo sabía eso. <laughs> anyway, I told her I'm not sure. No sé. So she said, "Well, keep driving and tell me what you see." Dice, sigue manejando y dime lo que miras. Driving, I tell her this, and she no, 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 no. Finally, y a hospital. Al finalmente, oh, al hospital. She said, "I can tell you how to get there for now." I said, "Great." Ya te puedo ayudar. Yo I said, "Let me está. pull out a pen and paper." Déjame saco el papel. She said, "No, I'm not going to give you directions." No te voy a dar direcciones. I'm going to walk you through it. Te voy a caminar hacia el so lugar. She said, she said, where's the hospital? ¿Dónde está el hospital? I said, on the left. En la izquierda. She said, behind you? I said, yes. Atrás de ti? She said, turn around. Volteate. So I turned around and said, now what do you see? Así que me volteé. Ahora que mira. the hospital. Estoy en el hospital. Keep going until you see sheets. Sigue dándole hasta que mires sheets. She said, I can't tell you street names. No te puedo decir los nombres de las carreteras. I can tell you how to get there. Pero te puedo decir cómo llegar. She had me turn at sheets. Me hizo bolsearme en sheets. Go down a circle. Dale un círculo. She couldn't tell me which way to turn by take the first turn or the second turn. She no me puedo decir. She kept saying, what do you see, what do you see, what do you see? No me podía decir cuál carretera llevar. No I was trying to say church street. No más decía carretera de iglesia. That doesn't help me. What do you see? Eso no me ayuda. ¿Qué miras? Finally. Ya finalmente, the two of us, de, de, después de yo y ella, we got to the church. llegamos a la iglesia. 
where I think it was your husband, Mary Jo. Donde creo que tu esposo, Mary Jo. Jim Ryerson. Jim Ryerson. Who told me. Que me dijo. Oh, it's old 87. <laughs> it's old 87. Oh, it's vieja 87. I was confused. Estaba confundido. But God brought me through. Pero Dios me trajo. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And what a relief it was. Y qué bueno se you see, when you finally get through the confusion, al final llegas, when you finally la break through, la it's a great feeling. Es un, has, un sentido muy bueno. Have you ever been confused? Has estado confundido? Do you sometimes ask, where are you, God? A veces te preguntas, ¿Dónde estás, Dios? How do we clear up our confusion? ¿Cómo aclaramos nuestra confusión? Sometimes we get confused at our jobs. A veces nos confundimos en nuestros trabajos. I told you I used to work in technology. Yo antes trabajaba en la tecnología. So in technology, when we get confused, we would do a couple of things. En la tecnología hacíamos unas cuantas cosas. We would reduce complexity. Reducir la complejidad. And increase clarity. Y agarrar claridad. La claridad. Yes, we would reduce complexity. Reducir la comple complejidad. Complejidad. Sí. Y, y increase clarity. Y aumentar la claridad. We do those two things. Hacíamos esas dos cosas. You know, make it, make, break it down a little bit. Lo hacíamos más fácil. Make sure you can see a little better. Para que puedas mirar mejor. So first we would reduce complexity. Primero reducir la complejidad. And uh, somebody read that for me. Troy, I, can I you read that? that? We look like um, we're like a like, complete like, kiss. Kiss. He got the last one. Kiss. Very good. Kiss. Besos. Kiss. Beso. So some of you in here know what that means. Algunos de ustedes saben lo que significa. Tony Turney, tell us what it means. Keep it simple, stupid. I beg your pardon. I, I beg your pardon. Did he just say, ¿Qué acaba de decir? Did, did he just say, keep it de simple, stupid? Hazlo simple, estúpido. Yes. Sí. Keep it simple. Hazlo simple. Sometimes when things get complicated, a veces cuando las cosas se complican, and we get confused, y nos confundimos, we need to just keep it simple. Simplify. Lo tenemos que simplificar. Because sometimes we have so much going on. Porque a veces tenemos tantas cosas uh, that, that we're overwhelmed. Que nos nos gana. So we need to we need to keep it simple. Tenemos que hacerlo más simple. If you break it down a little bit, si lo ha, uh, hacemos pequeño, into smaller pieces, en cosas más pequeñas, sometimes it's not as confusing. A veces no es tan confuso. And we also need to increase clarity. Tenemos que aumentar la claridad. We need to do something so we can see the situations more easily. Tenemos que hacer algo para mirar la situación más fácil. And how do we do that? ¿Y cómo hacemos eso? Get back to the basics. Vuelve a lo, a lo básico. Getting back to the basics is the answer. Volver a lo básico es la respuesta. <clears throat> but you have to choose the right coach. Pero tienes que elegir el entrenador correcto. Or counselor. O consejero. Or a consultant whom you can trust to give you direction. O consultor adecuado en quien puedas confiar para que te guíe. <laughs> Sometimes you get confused. A veces te confundes. And when you ask someone to help you, y cuando le preguntas a alguien que te ayude, they tell you something like, te dicen algo como, I can't tell you how to get there from here. No te puedo ayudar cómo llegar desde aquí. You need to choose the right person. Tienes que escoger la persona adecuada. The Bible will help us understand how to get back to the basics. La Biblia nos enseña cómo llegar a, a volver a lo básico. Now I want to talk for just a minute about a great counselor. Y yo quiero hablar de un hombre Consultor bueno. Someone who can tell us about getting back to the basics. Alguien que nos enseñe cómo volver a lo básico. And his name is Moses. Y su nombre es Moisés. I'm going to be on Moses' picture for just a little while. He's a man God called his friend. Es un hombre que Dios llamó su amigo. That's pretty good. Es algo muy bueno. Yet he is described in the Old Testament as the humblest person in the world. Sin embargo, se le describe en el Antiguo Testamento como la persona más humilde del mundo. He spent the first part of his life as a prince of Egypt. Pasó la primera parte de su vida como príncipe de Egipto. Learning the wisdom of the greatest civilization of his day while living a life of luxury. Aprendiendo la sabiduría de la mayor civilización de su época mientras vivía una vida de lujo. 
Then Moses lived in isolation and contemplation for 40 years. Luego Moisés vivió en aislamiento y contemplación durante 40 años. Tending flocks in the desert. Cuidando rebaños en el desierto. God prepared him to be a servant. Dios lo preparó para ser un siervo. He led the children of Israel and saw God work mighty miracles. Dirigió a los hijos de Israel y vio a Dios obrar grandes milagros. Parting the Red Sea. Dividir el Mar Rojo. Providing a, a daily supply of manna for 40 years. Proporcionaron su ministro diario de manna. Durante 40 años. Sending showers of quail. Enviar lluvias de codornices. And supply gushing water out of a rock in the wilderness. Y suministrar agua brotaba de roca en el desierto. Moses saw all those things. Moisés miró todas estas cosas. He was called to lead a rebellious people. Moisés fue llamado a lider a liderar un pueblo rebelde. He faced overwhelming times of confusion and doubt. Se enfrentó a tiempos de apuro. Abrumadora confusión y duda mientras As they resisted his leadership. se resistían a su liderazgo. He experienced times of over extension experimentó momentos de sobreextensión and exhaustion as the people came to him from morning to night demanding his personal attention. Y agotamiento cuando la gente acu acudía de la mañana a la noche. Moses was a man who knew God. Moisés era un hombre que sabía, conocía a Dios. Who saw his power. Que veía su poder. Who led his people. Que guiaba su pueblo. And who unfortunately y que por desgracia also had the unpleasant task of spending 40 years in the desert. También tenía la desagradable tarea de pasar 40 años en el desierto with a people who refused to believe God's promises. Con un pueblo que se negaba a creer las promesas de Dios. God said, I'm going to take you to a land Dios dijo, Te voy a llevar a una flowing tierra. with milk and honey. Con, con leche y miel. I'm going to be with you. Yo estaré contigo. And if you remember what happened, y si te acuerdas lo que pasó, they sent spies ellos enviaron espías, and the spies became afraid. Y los espías tenían miedo. So no, we can't do what God wants us to do. No podemos hacer lo que Dios nos pidió. Two of them said, oh no, we can't. Dos de ellos dijeron, no Podemos. Joshua and Caleb. Oh, jo Josué y Caleb. But the other ones said no. Y los otros decían que no. So he got. So Moses had to spend 40 years in the desert with his people who refused to trust God for his promises. Moisés duró 40 años con gente que no confiaba en las promesas de Dios. During this time, Moses gained a an amazing amount of wisdom. Durante este tiempo, Moisés adquirió una asombrosa cantidad de sabiduría. Moses led as God punished one generation and prepared the next. Moisés lideró mientras Dios castigaba una generación y preparaba la siguiente. Well, I want to stop right there. Y voy a parar ahí. You know that's what God did. Es lo que hizo Dios. He punished a generation. Él castigó una generación. And he prepared another generation. Y preparó a la siguiente. Do you think God can do that again? ¿Crees que Dios puede hacer eso otra vez? Let me tell you the truth. Déjate digo la verdad. If we don't do the will of God, si no hacemos la voluntad de Dios, He will raise up a people that will. Él levantará gente que sí lo hará. Moses gained a lot of wisdom. Moisés adquirió mucho, mucha sabiduría. Think about it. Piénsalo. Since the adult generation all died before their descendants entered the promised land, except for Joshua and Caleb. Dado que toda la generación adulta murió antes de que sus descendientes entraran a la tierra prometida. It is estimated that Moses probably presided over about 1.2 to 1.8 million funerals. Se estima que Moisés probablemente presidió entre 1.2 y 1.8 millones de funerales. We don't think about that. No pensamos en eso. We know they wandered around for 40 years. Sabemos que caminaron por 40 años. But all that generation, except for Joshua and Caleb, passed away. Pero toda esa generación, excepto de Josué y Caleb, se murió. A million or two people. Un millón o dos millones. Can you imagine? Imagínate eso. He lived in the house of mourning for 40 years. Vivió en la casa de luto durante 40 años. This not only made him someone who heard from God and lived in God's presence. Esto no solo lo convirtió en alguien que escuchaba a Dios y viva en la presencia de Dios. But it also made him a realist. Sino que también lo convirtió en un realista. He knew as much about death and dying as anyone has ever learned. Sabía tanto sobre la muerte y el morir como nadie ha aprendido jamás. He became trained in every aspect of life. Se entrenó en todos los aspectos de la vida. Moses developed his skills as a wise consultant through extensive experience. Desarrolló sus habilidades como consultor sabio y a través. You and I could not find a more qualified counselor to help us through confusing times. De una amplia experiencia, usted y yo no podemos 
encontrar un consejero más calificado que ayudarnos en estos tiempos confusos. God eventually had Moses pin the highlights of what he learned in this journey with God and his people in the 17 verses that make up Psalm 90. Finalmente Dios hizo que Moisés escribiera los aspectos más destacados de, la, de lo que aprendió en este viaje con Dios y su pueblo en, el des, en los 17 versículos que componen el Salmo 90. This is the only psalm that we are aware of that Moses wrote. Este es el único salmo que conocemos que escribió Moisés. And in it we get some great advice. En él recibimos algunos buenos consejos. In this brief psalm, en este breve salmo, Moses gathered the wisdom of God. Moisés reunió la sabiduría de Dios and, and applied it in, in una forma, in, in a form, y la aplicó en una forma to allow people like you and me para permitir personas como tú y yo to get back to the basics. A volver a lo básico. If anyone can tell us how life ought to work and show us where we are during times of confusion, si it's alguien, Moses. Si alguien puede decirnos lo que debería funcionar la vida y mostrarnos dónde estamos en tiempos de confusión, es Moisés. Finally, the next slide. Psalm 90. Salmos 90. Will help us break through the confusion as we get back to the basics. Nos ayudará a romper la confusión a, medi a medida de que volvemos a lo básico. That's what I want to stress with you today. Es lo que les quiero decir hoy. Are you confused? Estás confundido? Get back to the basics. Regresa a lo básico. That's what I was trying to do. Es lo que yo intentaba. I couldn't find the church. No podía encontrar la iglesia. I go back to where I started. Tenía que llegar donde estaba. Aren't you glad for GPS nowadays? Están agradecidos por el GPS esos días. It'll get you where it'll get you where you're going. It te llevará donde necesitas llegar. Most of the time. Muchas veces. I remember when it was first being developed. Cuando me acuerdo que apenas estaba siendo construido. And I had one of those that you attached to your dash. Y yo tenía unos que se ponían en la en el frente. And I was traveling somewhere. Y yo viajaba a alguna parte. And it had me get off the interstate. Me hizo bajarme del the freeway and they wanted me to turn around. Y que make, me a U -turn. Turn. make a U-turn on the highway. Hacer una vuelta en U. Maybe it wanted me to go the other way. I don't know. But, amor quería que fuera un otro lado. Uh, let's see. Uh, Ron and tr Ron and I were traveling one time to a to a ball game. Ron y yo estábamos viajando una vez a un juego de pelota. And we could see the stadium. Podíamos mirar el estadio. And it said to get off the highway. Y nos dijo que nos saliéramos. And the GPS said. Y el GPS dijo. A la derecha. To the right. A la derecha. To the right. But the stadium. Pero el estadio. Was izquierda. Was on the left. left. We could see it. Lo podíamos ver. But it said take a right. Pero decía que fuera a la derecha. Teresa, guess what Ron did. Y qué crees lo que hizo Ron? Just guess. Ya que es fifth chance. Adivina. He took a right. Él le dio a la derecha. He took a right. Él le dio a la derecha. And we could all see it. Y todos podíamos mirarlo. We were confused. Estamos confundidos. So, so he did. He did a. Uh, I was going to say a legal U-turn. Iba a decir un, una vuelta no ilegal. I don't know if it was legal or not. Pero no sabía si fue legal o no. But anyway, he turned around. Pero él se dio la vuelta. And found the stadium. Y encontró el estadio. And we felt great. Y nos sentíamos bien. If, if you need to break through the confusion, si tienes que romper sobre la confusión, you need to get back to the basics. Si tienes que devolver, volver here, a lo básico. Here is what we will learn from Psalm 90. Esto es lo que aprenderemos de Salmos 90. God is great. Dios es grande. Somebody say amen. Puedes decir amen. Life is short. La vida es corta. Sin is serious. El pecado es grave. Wisdom is essential. La sabiduría es esencial. Mercy is available. La misericordia está And disponible. And success is possible. Y el éxito es posible. Let's start with God is great. Empecemos con Dios es grande. Psalm 90 verse 1. Salmo 90, no, versículo 1. Moses wrote this. Moisés escribió esto. Moses wrote this after God had said. Moisés escribió esto después de que Dios le había dicho. All these people are going to die in the wilderness. Toda esta gente va a morir en en el la bosque. Listen to Moses' response. Mira lo que dice Moisés. Lord, you have been our dwelling place in all generations. Señor mío, tú has sido nuestro refugio de generación en generación. Before the mountains were brought forth, or ever you had formed the earth and the world, from everlasting to everlasting, you are God. Tú ya eras Dios aún antes de que las montañas se formaran y que crearas la tierra y el mundo. Tú eras y siempre serás Dios. God is great. Dios es grande. Can you say amen? Puedes decir amen. God is great. Dios es grande. Moses got bad news. Moisés tiene uh, noticias malas. You know what his response was? Sabes qué fue su respuesta? God is great. Dios es grande. That's a lesson for us. Es una lección para nosotros. If you're nosotros. confused, si estás confundido, start with that. Empieza con eso. God is great. Dios es grande. I want to talk just a minute about Submarines. Quiero hablar sobre submarinos. 
nuclear submarines, submarinos nucleares, that carry missiles that can destroy parts of the earth. Llevan misiles que podrían destruir la tierra. So their calibrations have to be exact. Así que sus calibraciones tienen que ser exactas. They have to know exactly where they are. Tienen que saber dónde están. And while a submarine is underwater, y submarinos bajo el agua, the magnetic forces of the earth affect it. Las fuerzas magnéticas de la tierra lo afectan. And after 90 days have passed, y después de 90 que hayan pasado 90 those, días, those magnetic effects have the potential esos efectos magnéticos tienen la potencial to alter the navigation aids considerably. Alterar, alterar las ayudas de la navegación. Therefore they must surface Así que por lo tanto deben salir. so their antenna can lock onto the North Star a la superficie para que su antena pueda fijarse en la estrella polar to make sure they are rightly aligned with that true reference point. Para asegurarse que están correctamente alineados con ese verdadero punto de referencia. That's the only way to know the missiles would go exactly on target. Esa es la única manera de saber que los misiles darían exactamente en el blanco. If God forbid they were ever ordered to fire them. Si Dios no lo quiera, alguna vez la ordena dispararlo. So, if the most sophisticated equipment on the planet has to come up and get aligned with the true reference point. Si el equipo más sofisticado del planeta tiene que seguir surgir para ser realizado con un verdadero punto de referencia. Doesn't it make sense that people need to find a true spiritual due north and realign their lives to that? No tiene sentido que la gente necesite encontrar un verdadero camino espiritual hacia el norte y realinear sus vidas hacia eso. Do you have a north star? ¿Tú tienes una estrella polar? Could the confusion in your life be a result of you not being rightly related to God? Podría la confusión en tu vida ser el resultado de que no estás correctamente relacionado con Dios. We need something to look at to make sure that we're in the right place. Necesitamos algo que mirar para asegurarnos que vamos al camino correcto. And God has given us His Word. Y Dios nos ha dado su Biblia. Could it be that you're so busy running after so many things? Podrá ser que estás tan ocupado corriendo detrás tantas cosas. Trying to get this relationship worked out. Tratando de resolver esta relación. And that deal sealed. Y sellar ese trato. That you haven't surfaced to take a reading on God. De que no has salido a la superficie para tomar una lectura de Dios. And align your life with Him. Y alinear tu vida con Él. Because you have to ask yourself this question. Porque te tienes que preguntar a ti mismo. If I'm not aligning myself with God, si no me estoy alineando who is great. Con Dios, quien es grande, what am I aligning myself with? ¿A qué me estoy and the only answer is La única whatever I want to. A lo que yo quiera. In other words, In otras palabras, you're making yourself a God. Te haces tú mismo tu Dios. So you want to know the first commandment? Sabe el primer mandamiento? I shall have no other gods no tendrás otros dioses before me. Antes que mí. Are you rightly related to God? Es, podrías... es usted correctamente relacionado con Dios? Are you rightly re related to God? When you are, here's what happens. Cuando lo estás, eso es lo que sucede. You move from being perplexed Te pasas de estar perplejado to getting perspective. A obtener perspectiva. When you're rightly related to God, you look at life from His vantage point. Cuando estás correctamente relacionado con that, Dios, that gives you perspective. Miras la vida desde su punto de vista. You know what perspective does? ¿Sabes lo que hace? It eliminates confusion. Elimina la confusión. That's what Laura was looking for. Es lo que Laura estaba Some buscando. Some perspective. Un perspectiva. If you tell me where, what you see, si me dices qué es lo que miras, I will know where you are. Yo sabré dónde estás. So how about you? ¿Qué tal usted? Are you rightly related to God? ¿Está usted correctamente relacionado con Dios? Página no web, por favor. Life is short. La vida es corta. Psalm 93. Salmos 93. You return man to dust and say, Return, O children of man. Tú traes a los seres humanos al mundo y los conviertes en polvo de nuevo. For a thousand years in your sight are but as yesterday when it is past or as a watch in the night. Para ti mil años son como un día que ya se va, como unas horas que pasan en la noche. A thousand years. Mil años. A thousand years, Moses said. Mil años, dijo Moses. He said, you sweep them away as a flood. Que, que las siembras a los seres humanos cada año. They are like a dream, like grass that is renewed in the morning. De mañana brotan como la hierba. In the morning it flourishes and is renewed, in the evening it fades and withers. La hierba crece en la mañana y por la tarde se seca y muere. A thousand years is not a long time to God. Mil años no es tanto para Dios. He is eternal. Él es eternal. Think about it. Piénsalo. When you were 10 years old, cuando tú tenías 10 años, you probably didn't remember a lot of your life. No te acuerdas tanta de tu vida. Let's say you started remembering when you were five. Uh, pens hay que pensar que te recuerdas cuando tenías cinco. Ten years later, you're 15. 
10 años después eres 15. Anyone here 15? Alguien aquí tiene 15? So, Gabe, if you are 15, Gabe, si tú tienes 15, and you can remember back to when you were 5. Y tú te recuerdas cuando tenías 5. That's 10 years. Son 10 años. So, one year is one tenth of your whole life. Un año es un décimo de toda tu vida. A year is a big chunk of your life. Un año es una parte grande de tu vida. But when you get young, pero cuando eres joven, like me and brother Dwight, yo y el hermano Dwight, a year is not a tenth of your life anymore, is it, Dwight? Un año ya no es un décimo de tu vida. Think about it. Piénsalo. If you started remembering when you were five, si empezaste a recordar cuando tenías cinco, then by the time you're 55, para cuando ya tengas 55, a year is like a fiftieth of your life. Un año es como un cincuenta de tu vida. And the older you get, y lo más grande que creces, it goes faster. Es más rápido. Faster. Y rápido, faster, y rápido, faster, y rápido. What about someone who is eternal? ¿Qué tal si alguien es eterna? What's a year? Un año. What, what's a decade? ¿Qué es una década? What's a century? ¿Qué es una cien años? What's ten thousand years? ¿Qué son diez mil años? It, it, it's nothing. No es nada. So what is our life? ¿Qué es nuestra vida? Brief. Breve. Brief. Breve. Chip Ingram says. Chip Ingram says. Re remember that our time is short. Recuerda que nuestro tiempo es corto. Moves us from a life characterized by procrastination. Nos lleva de una vida caracterizada por la pro procrastinación to a life characterized by priorities. A una vida caracterizada por las prioridades. When you begin to realize how short your life is, cuando empiezas a saber qué corta es tu vida, you begin to pray like your pastor does. Empiezas a orar como tu pastor. Here's how I pray. Así es como yo oro. Lord, help me to know what is important. Dios, ayúdame a saber qué es lo importante and what is not important. y lo que no es importante. God will answer that prayer. Dios te responderá esa oración. And if you don't think about what is important, si no piensas en lo que es importante, you, you find yourself wasting time with a lot of things that are unimportant. Estarás gastando tu tiempo en cosas que no son importantes. God is great. Así que Dios es grande. That's the basics. Es lo básico. Get back to the basics. Vuelve a lo When básico. When you're confused, start confundido. with God. Empieza con Dios. Remember that God is great. Y recuerda que Dios remember es grande. Remember that life is short. Recuerda que la vida es corta. You have to ask yourself. Te tienes que preguntar a ti mismo. This thing that confuses me so much. Esto me confunde tanto. That bothers me so much que me fastidia, that has me so trouble que me perturba. what difference is it going to make a thousand years from now? ¿Qué diferencia va a ser en mil años? Life is short. La vida es corta. Let's get back to the basics. Hay que volver a lo básico. También also, sin is serious. El pecado es grave. El pecado es grave. Sin is serious. Psalm 90 verse 7. Salmo 97. Moses talking to God. Moisés hablándole a Dios. For we are brought to an end by your anger, by your wrath we are dismayed. Tu furia nos consume, tu enojo se llena de miedo. You have said your our iniquities before you, our secret sins in the light of your presence. Tú conoces todas vuestras fal nuestras faltas y la luz de tu rostro la revela. For all our days pass away under your wrath, we bring our years to an end like a sigh. Tu furia puede acabar en nuestras vidas, eres capaz de hacer que nuestras vidas se des como un suspiro. The years of our life are 70. Lo podemos llegar a vivir 70 años. Or even by reason of strength, 80. Hasta 80 si gozamos de Yet buena their salud. span is but toil and trouble. Vivimos trabajando duro y sufriendo. They are soon gone. gone. Nuestras vidas. They are soon gone. They will fly away. De repente nuestras vidas terminan y volamos. Who considers the power of your anger and your wrath according to the fear of you? Dios mío, nadie conoce la fuerza de tu furia. Sin is serious business, folks. El pecado es algo serio. Sin is serious. El pecado es serio. When was the last time you got quiet and said, God search me and know my heart? ¿Cuándo fue la última vez que te quedaste callado y dijiste, Dios examíname, conoce mi corazón? Try me and know my thoughts. Pruébame, conoce mis pensamientos. See if there be any sinful way in me. Mira si hay algún camino pecaminoso. Show me bitterness. Muestra amargura. Show me resentment. Muestra mi resentimiento. Show me where my thoughts are less pure than what you want them to be. Y muéstrame donde mis pensamientos son menos puros. Point out to me. Point out to me where there could be any block between me and you, donde podría haber algún bloqueo entre tú y yo, or me and another person, o entre mí y otra persona. When's the last time you prayed like that? ¿Cuándo es la última vez que oraste así? You know why we don't do that? ¿Sabes por qué no lo hacemos? Because we inherently know how quickly God's Spirit can locate those sins we've been denying or covering up. Porque inherentemente sabemos cuán rápido el Espíritu Santo puede localizar esos pecados que hemos estado negando e encubriendo. Here's brother Chip again. Aquí está nuestro hermano Chip. We mistakenly choose to tolerate sin. Elegimos error erróneamente tolerar el pecado. Rather than invite God's continual examination and cleansing. En lugar de invitar el examen y la limpieza continuos continuos de Dios. 
I hope you hear this. And espero que escuches esto. Why don't you close your eyes for just one minute? No Maybe not a minute. minute. But just until I tell you though. Hasta que te diga que los abras. Close your eyes. Cierra los ojos. Don't go to sleep. No te duermas. Mm -hmm. But listen carefully. Pero escucha cuidadosamente. When you take sin seriously, cuando tomas el pecado seriamente, you will find yourself tending to avoid every manner of pollution. Te encontrarás tendiendo a evitar todo de contaminación. Spiritually, espiritualmente, mentally, mentalmente, and emotionally. Y emocionalmente. You'll be careful of what comes out of your mouth. Tendrás cuidado con lo que sale de tu what boca. What goes into your mind. Lo que entra a tu mente. Where your hands go. Donde van tus manos. And where your affections lie. Y donde están tus afectos. You could open your eyes. Pueden abrir sus ojos. I wanted you to hear that. Quería que escucharan eso. If you truly take sin seriously, si realmente tomas el pecado, you will run from sin and pursue purity. Y buscarás la pureza. And as you do that, amazing things will start to happen. Y a medida de que lo hagas, comenzará a suceder cosas. Life will get clearer and less chaotic. Asombroso y la vida se volverá más clara y menos caótica. One cause of confusion in decision making in relationships. Una causa de confusión en la toma de decisiones y las relaciones. Is the presence of unresolved sin in our lives. Es la presencia de pecados no resueltos en nuestras vidas. It's like trying to see out of a fog window. Es como tratar de ver por la ventana de un automóvil empañado. Cuando yo fui joven, when I was younger, I had a, a Ford Falcon. Tenía un Ford Falcon. Uh, with three on the tree, con tres en, con tres velocidades. And and uh, the, the heat and defrost didn't work. El calentón y el AC no servía. But it was my car. Pero era mi carro. And I would drive to high school. Y yo manejaba hacia la escuela. In the snow and the ice. Y había hielo en la carretera. With my head out the window. Con mi cabeza fuera del, del espejo. Because I couldn't see through the window. Porque no miraba por el espejo. That's that. That's that last part of that kiss acronym. Esa es la última parte de ese acrónimo. Wasn't very Eso. smart. Wasn't no very smart. Muy inteligente. But but when you have unresolved sin in your life, pero cuando tienes pecado no resuelto, you can't see clearly. No puedes mirar claramente. Sin is serious. El pecado es serio. I want you to hear what Jesus says to me and you today. Yo quiero que escuches lo que Dios dice. He said it then. Él le dijo. He says it now. Lo dijo antes. He says go. Le dije. Le dice ve. And sin no more. Y no peques más. Go and sin no more. Ve y no peques más. Sinners came to Jesus. Los pecadores llegaron a Jesus. Jesus didn't say. Jesús no les dijo. It's okay. Está bien. You identify with that sin. Tú te identificas con el pecado. You think that's okay. Crees que eso está bien. I love you so much. Te amo tanto. I'm going to celebrate you. Celebraré lo que I'm going to dedicate a month to you. Voy a dedicar un mes para ti. This is going to be your sin month. Este es tu mes de pecado. That's not what he did. No es lo que he hizo. He didn't elevate sin. Él no elevó el pecado. He didn't approve of sin. No dijo que sí al pecado. He forgave sin. Él perdonó el pecado. And then he said, go. Y le dijo, ve. And sin no more. Y no peques más. You want to get back to the basics. Quieres regresar a lo básico. You want to break through your confusion. Tienes que Remember that God is great. Que Dios es Life is short. La vida es corta. Sin is serious. El pecado es serio. And next, wisdom is essential. Y lo siguiente, la Verse 12 es essential. says, Versículo 12 So teach dice, us to number our days so that we may get a heart of wisdom. James wrote in the New Testament, Santiago escribió en el Nuevo Testamento. Yet you do not know what tomorrow will bring. Ustedes ni siquiera saben qué va a pasar con su vida de mañana. ¿Por qué ustedes son como vapor? It's like a mist that appears for a little time and then vanishes. Your life is so brief. Como vapor que aparece solo por un momento y después desaparece. You see how God works? Sabes, mira como Dios trabaja. He says, I'm great. Él dice, soy grande. Life is short. La vida es corta. Sin is serious. El pecado es... Now he reminds us. You want to get wise? Quieres ser sabio? Remember God is great. Remember life is short. Que la vida es corta. Remember sin is serious. Que el pecado es serio. También. And also, mercy is available. La misericordia está disponible. Moses writes this. Moisés escribe. Return, O Lord, how long? Have pity on your servants. Señor, cuando volverás a estar con nosotros? Sé bueno con tus siervos. Satisfy us in the morning with your steadfast love, that we may rejoice and be glad all our days. Llénanos de tu fiel amor cada mañana y nosotros siempre nos alegraremos y cantaremos. Make us glad for as many days as you have afflicted us, and for as many years as we have seen evil. Danos tantos años de alegría, así como nos diste de aflicción. Let your work be shown to your servants and your glorious power to their children. 
Deja que tus siervos vean las maravillas que tú puedes hacer por ellos y permite que sus hijos vean tu gloria. Por último, una buena noticia. Finally, some good news. Por último, una buena noticia. Finally, some good news. God's mercy means that you do not get what you deserve. La misericordia de Dios significa que no tienes lo que mereces. God's mercy means that you do not get what you deserve. La misericordia de Dios significa que no tienes lo que mereces. God's mercy means that you do not get what you deserve. No tienes lo que mereces. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Aren't you glad about that? Estás agradecido por eso. I don't know about you. No sé si tú. But I know about me. Pero yo sé que yo. If I get what I deserve. Si yo agarro lo que yo merezco. I'm going to get it. Lo voy a agarrar. It's going to be bad. Va a estar muy malo. But God's mercy means that I do not get what I deserve. Pero la misericordia de Dios significa que no tienes lo que mereces. That's what God's mercy means. Es lo que significa la gracia de Dios. Aren't you thankful? If you're thankful, say praise the Lord. Si estás agradecido, digan alabanza al Señor. Let's give him a cheer. Hay que darle un aplauso. God's mercy means you do not get what you deserve. La gracia de Dios significa que no tienes lo que mereces. God's grace that means that we get the good we do not deserve. La gracia de Dios significa que obtenemos el bien que no merecemos. We don't get what we deserve. No agarramos lo que merecemos. We get these good things that we don't deserve. Pero agarramos lo bien que no merecemos. Here's what God wants you to know. Esto es lo que Dios quiere que sepas. Here's what God wants you to know. Esto es lo que Dios quiere que sepas. Oh Lord, help your pastor. Oh Dios, ayuda a nuestro pastor. Somebody say, God, help our pastor. Alguien diga, Dios, ayuda a nuestro pastor. Crystal, stand up just one second here. Ponte de pie, Crystal. Here's what God wants you to know. Es lo que Dios quiere que sepa. And not just you, but all of us. Y no solamente tú, pero todos. But Crystal, here's what God wants you to know. Esto es lo que Dios quiere que sepa. You don't have to get your act together. No te tienes que ponerte las pilas. Try harder. Esforzarte. Get disciplined. Ser más disciplinado. Or do something good. O hacer algo bueno. To encounter Him. Por, por, para encontrarte a él, a él ahora mismo. He just wants you to say, Can I love you? Él solo quiere decir, ¿Puedo amarte? That's what He wants you to hear. Es lo que Él quiere que escuches. Can I love you, Crystal? Puedo amarte, Cristal. Would you let me forgive you? Me dejas perdonarte. Would you let me apply what Jesus did on the cross for you? Me permites aplicar lo que Jesús hizo en la cruz por ti ahora mismo. Jesus wants us to hear that. Jesús quiere que escuchemos eso. Thank you, Crystal. Gracias, Crystal. God bless you. Dios te bendiga. Not just for Crystal. No solo para solo para Crystal. But it's especially for you, Crystal. Pero es especialmente para ti. I feel like God wanted me to share that with you today. Creo que Dios quiso que te compartiera eso contigo. Get back to the basics, church. Volver a lo básico. God is great. Dios es bueno. Can you say that? Pueden decir eso. Life is short. La vida es corta. Say that. Pueden decir eso. Sin is serious. El pecado es say that. serio. Repeat after me. Wisdom is essential. Repite conmigo. La sabiduría. Mercy es is available. La misericordia está disponible. Success is possible. El éxito está posible. Aleluya. Aleluya. Let the favor of our Lord, of the Lord our God, be upon us. Que el favor de Dios sea con nosotros. And establish the work of our hands upon us. Y agarrar los versículos 17. Let the favor of the Lord our God be upon us. Y página 15. Versículo 17. Que nuestro Dios y Señor sea bueno con nosotros. And establish the work of our hands upon us. Que nos envíe ayuda ayuda en lo que hacemos. Yes, establish the work of our hands. Sí, eh, ayudarnos en lo que hacemos. Moses was facing a challenge. Moses estaba en un problema. He could have been confused. Él podía estar confundido. He gave us a roadmap. Nos dio un, un, una guía. Are you, are you uh, prepared to follow the map? ¿Estás preparado para seguir esa guía? So are you confused today? ¿Estás confundido hoy? Are you rightly related to God? ¿Está, ¿Estás correctamente relacionado con Dios? Are you prepared to die? ¿Estás preparado para morir? Are you taking sin seriously? ¿Estás tomando el pecado are, en serio? Are you spending or investing your life? ¿Estás gastando o invirtiendo tu vida? Are you experiencing the joy of the Lord? ¿Estás experimentando el gozo del Señor? Are you impacting your world for good? ¿Estás impactando tu mundo por, para bien? I should think about the answer to those questions. Mientras que piensas la respuesta de esas preguntas the guidance of God's spirit, y la guianza de Dios, He will create a dynamic in you that will help you think more clearly. Él creará una dinámica dentro de ti para ayudarte a pensar con claridad. If you will then seek God's way earnestly, si entonces buscas el camino de Dios fervientemente, you'll be prepared to act clearly and consistently. Estarás preparado para actuar con claridad y consistencia. He will move you from confusion y él te moverá de la confusión a la claridad. De la confusión from confusion a la claridad. To clarity. De la confusión from confusion a la claridad. To clarity. Algunas veces, sometimes, 
Tenemos confusión aquí. We have confusion here. Brian, yo. Me and Brian, yeah, we have confusion sometimes. We have them. Con nos confundimos a veces. Thank you for understanding. Gracias por entender. What we try to do, lo que tratamos de hacer, Brian does a great job. Y Brian hace un buen trabajo. Breaks through the confusion. Rompe sobre la confusión. Doesn't Brian do a great job? Tengo Brian hace un buen trabajo. Dale un abrazo. I remember uh, the first time he, he interpreted for someone. Me acuerdo la primera vez que, que interpretó por alguien. Uh, fue un uh, hombre de, de Perú. Uh, no, it was no. a man from de donde? De donde fue? Paraguay. Paraguay. Oh, un hombre de Paraguay. De Paraguay. Right? It was a man from Paraguay, you remember? Un hombre de Paraguay. Dan Miller. Dan Miller. Dan Miller's from Canada. Yes, <laughs> de Canadá. So he kind of speaks English. So <laughs> habla un poco de inglés. He lives in, in uh, Paraguay. Pero él vive en Paraguay. And, uh, and, and we said you can do it, Brian. Y decimos, tú lo puedes hacer, Brian. Brian gets better and better and better. Y Brian sigue mejorando y mejorando. Give another cheer. Dale otro aplauso. Haces una, algo muy bueno. Thank you. Gracias. Rosa, you're very proud of your son. Que sea muy orgulloso de su hijo. And, and it helps. Y ayuda. Hector, is this a help? Hector, ¿esto es ayuda? Por supuesto. Of course. Of course. And it, it helps me too. Y me ayuda a mí también. It helps me to learn Spanish. Me ayuda a aprender español. And when uh, we first started doing the messages in both languages, y cuando empezamos a hacer el mensaje en dos lenguajes, I was using the... Uh, the Antigua Versión. Uh, estaba usando la versión. The, the ancient version, the uh, old version. Antigua. Yeah. Uh, ¿Cómo se dice? Queen's version, right? Uh, la la reina. reina. Yeah. Uh, we have a King James version. Many of you are familiar with that? Uh, tenemos una versión de Rey in James. Spanish, they have the Queen's version. En, en, en español tienen Translated Reina. Translated about the same time. Traducida a la misma vez. And Courtney, some of those words. Y una de esas palabras. We just don't use, right? No usamos. Courtney has taught Spanish. <laughs> Courtney ha hablado español. I don't teach those words. Y yo no he dicho esas palabras. Now we're using something else. A little bit. Y ahora usamos algo más nuevo. Breaking through the confusion. Uh, rompiendo sobre la God is great. Dios Life es bueno. is short. La vida Sin es corta. La en pecado Wisdom es grave. Is la sabiduría Mercy es posible. La misericordia es posible. Success is possible. El éxito es posible. If you keep that in perspective. Si tienes eso en tu perspectiva. When everything seems to be falling apart. Cuando las cosas se están cayendo. You, you can't you just can't determine your next move. Y no puedes mirar tu siguiente paso. You need to step back. Tienes que dar un paso atrás. Read this ancient psalm, Psalm 90. Mirar este salmo, Salmo 90. And be reminded how great God is. Y recuérdate de qué grande es Dios. And as we look ahead, y mientras que miramos adelante, we're going to have success. Vamos a tener éxito. Uh, Paul said in Romans 8:18. Pablo dice en Romanos 8:18. For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time, porque yo lo, el sufrimiento de este tiempo, are not worthy to be compared. No son dignos de ser preparados. To the glory that shall be revealed in us. Para la gloria que recibiremos, recibiremos. The best is yet to come. Lo mejor está por venir. Stand. Si se puede poner de pie. I don't think I'm the only one that's confused. No creo que yo sea el único que está confundido. God would not have laid this message on my heart. Oh, Dios no hubiera puesto este mensaje en mi corazón. So would you bow your heads? Si pueden inclinar su rostro. Right there where you are. Ahí donde están. Would you take a moment and talk to Jesus? Tomen un tiempo y hablen con Jesús. Mientras que oro. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for your presence, your power. Thank you for your word. I believe there's power in your word. I believe that your word rests on us, it feeds us, it motivates us, it strengthens us. Your word is great and greatly to be praised. We honor your word. Because, Jesus, you are the word. You are the word. The living word. Thankful for the living word. Thankful for the written word. Thankful for how the word ministers to us. Help us to break through confusion. Remember that you are great. Life is short. The sin is serious. The wisdom is essential. Mercy is available. Success is possible. Help us remember all that, Jesus. Lord, there are some here that I'm sure are facing uh, confusing situations. Break through to them, Lord, as they seek you. Break through. Break through, Lord. Whatever barrier stands in our way, break through it, Jesus. Clouds of uncertainty. Break through, God. Break through for your glory, Jesus. Break through for this local church. Lord, you have a ministry for this local church. You've helped us to do many things, and I'm so grateful. I believe there is more. There is more. We are here for a purpose. Break through whatever confusion that will cloud our way. We seek you.
Jesus. We seek you, Jesus. We take time right now to just call on your name, Jesus. Thank you for each one that's here, Lord, that has heard your word. Lord, I, I firmly believe that uh, many will face a confusing situation this week. And then they'll be reminded, what did the pastor say? Start with God's grace. And when they look to you, Lord, you'll begin to make things clear for them. Help us, Jesus, not to rest in our own wisdom. Do that.